Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video today I'll be detailing this Kawasaki Z900. This is going to show you how to maintain and wash your motorbike and also keep it looking good for longer. There's a few little tips in this video that will help you along the way if you've never washed a motorcycle before. But obviously, like a car, you'd start off with the wheels. Also on a bike you'd clean the train as well. So you just start with the lower parts of the bike which are the most dirtiest areas. You apply the same sort of products that you would to a car. So first of all I'm going in with the fallout remover, this wheel cleaner. And then we're topping it with a snow foam which is Moles Deep Snow Foam just to give it that extra bit of dwell time. Then you're going to clean your tyres and your rim to remove all the dirt you can. You'll notice a lot of the tools I'm using you actually see me use on car alloys and it's the same process really. You're going to just try and clean it as much as you can. The only difference here is you're going to be cleaning the chain with a stiff brush to remove as much of the grease as you can because this is what gets all the grits on it and also you will be lubing that chain up at the end which will show you how to do that because that is highly recommended when you wash your bike you re-lube the chain every time. So once you've done your wheels, you will then go on to a pre-wash. So first of all, I'm spraying it on a TFR over all the engine components or anything that's got a lot of dirt on it. And then I'm going to be topping it with a snow foam for extra dwell time. The snow foam I'll be using is Mold Deep Snow, which was also in the IK sprayer. This is a really good snow foam, really thick and also has a good dwell time on it. And you can see the dirt dripping off, off the bike there. We leave that to dwell for about 5 to 10 minutes and obviously you're going to rinse off so this is your pre-wash done. We are now then topping it with the MJJC Snow Foam Shampoo. You'd have seen my review video on it if you've watched it which was my last video which covered obviously the snow foam and what it's like to use and we topped it on this bike for a deep foam clean. I prefer to use a glove type wash mitt on a bike just so you can get your fingers into all the nooks and crannies as obviously with a bike it's got very hard areas to get into and you'll find that the glove is really good but you can also use a detail brush for all the little finishing touches so you don't miss anything. And this is really handy around like the engine areas and stuff like that. On to more type of snow foam. Well, this one is the ceramic sealant by Mild Deep, which just gives the paintwork and body of the bike about six months protection. And also, I use it as a drying aid because it just helps the vehicle dry quicker because it disperses the water, as you can see as we're spraying it. What I did find it didn't give as much water beading on the motorcycle as it does on cars, but it did. You will see on this sort of camera angle now that it does disperse the water really easy, so it made it easier to dry. So this is very handy when you obviously have a motorbike that has a lot of nooks and crannies where water can be everywhere. You could use a dryer or like a car type dryer. Um, obviously this would be really suited to a motorbike, but not everyone has one. So I wanted to show you that you can dry a motorcycle still with a drying towel. It's sort of recommended just to leave it to dry for a little bit and then all the water will drip out and then you can finish it off. Now we go on to actually doing the compound stage of the paintwork. Obviously the black parts on this bike did have a lot of swell marks and you could notice it because with bikes you have your body is always leaning on the tank. You may have people on the back of the bike so you will get a lot of swell marks and marks on 
any type of motorbike like this so it's always recommended to do this type of deep compound clean I would recommend it every sort of six months just to remove all their marks and you'll notice when I wipe it away that it makes such a big difference to the tank and this is a really good product that you can use by hand as well So once you have to finish removing the compound from the paintwork, you want to go in with some kind of protection product. I'm applying Wake Me Hybrid Ceramic Wax, which I find is a really good product, easy to use, easy to buff off, and it gives a really amazing finish. And obviously with that protection of some kind of water beading from the ceramic side of the wax. And it's a really good lasting wax, and I've been really impressed with it. So it's a great one to use on this sort of bike. But you can use any type of wax that you have as long as it gives that a bit of protection makes the bike stand out and once you see the aftershots of the bike you'll see what sort of finish it gives So once you've finished waxing your bike, you're going to want to go on and, and dress your trims. This is quite a crucial part that a lot of people will miss because not only does it give the nice finish to the trims, but it also protects it against all the weathers. And I just feel that if you don't do this part, it's going to really stand out as a missed part of the detail against the nice shiny paintwork that you've just waxed. So I highly recommend that you apply a plastic trim restorer. So once you've finished your trims, I'd recommend that you just go in with a glass cleaner on your screen parts of the bike and your mirrors, just to finish the bike off as a whole. So once you've finished your bike off, you will want to go in and lube your chain. This is a very crucial part of the detail, must be done every time you wash the bike. This is to maintain that chain. Also, this product that we're using is a water resistant product and it's a really good one for all weathers. So I hope you like this video and I'm going to hit you with some aftershots now.